Uh, I think that is true when we say that if you look for it, you find it. So uh, I, I, I think that most of the uh, cattle veterinarians, they just ignore, for instance, the Staphylosomnis. They don't look for it. And it's also true that uh, you, you find what you look for. So I think that the laboratory diagnostics uh, uh, play an important role in this. One of the first reasons, I think it's now the method to detect H. somni or Staphylococcus somni changed. Before we had Bionic culture and now we do have a lot of PCR is available everywhere as a common practice and there is more and more report showing that PCR, PCR are way more sensitive to detect H. somni than is bacterial culture. Nowadays we actually com combine in, in, in the same animal a swap with a long lavage. And then you can now see that for Histophilus, in contrast for Manhemia and Posterella, that they are negative in the nose, apparently negative in the nose, but in the lung you find the germ. Um, I think there's been a bit of an explosion, a diagnostic explosion over recent years, so now we're maybe better able to characterise what we've got than we, we were before. Some of the results they talked about earlier today uh, indicated that it's maybe overlooked because it's often a co-pathogen along with some of the uh, pasteurella type bugs as well. So I think, yeah, it's just a case of underdiagnosis has been the problem. I think we make a big mistake by making assumptions based on basic clinical science without following through completely. Equally, I think there's problems in terms of making the absolute diagnosis. It is difficult from the field to well diagnose or identify the disease by looking only at the clinical signs. It can be confused with problems of syncytial or parainfluenza. A second reason could be also that we had a switch from what we call before the thrombotic meningoencephalitis to a more myocarditis form, so cattle are dying of H. somni infection with myocarditis. This switch in the violence or at, of this clinical presentation can explain that we do find more histophilus somni now, related lesion than before. And a third one could be also the selective pressure, that the fact that now we can apply a pressure about man, on Manhamia hemolytica that can free the place finally for histophilosis. It's just a, an idea, it's just a concept, I'm not sure about that, I don't have any data to back up that, but that could be an explanation also. Thank you.